Hey guys, Popular Boat here, and today we're playing some more Heartspine 4 as the Socialist Republic of Virginia. We are stomping the Soviets. They haven't had much of a chance of defending against us at all. And we are very close to walking into Moscow. In fact, I'm just going to push for it now. And hope we get our way in. There we go. Moscow is captured. Oh. Let's increase our... Is that the right one I was going for? Yep, let's increase our manpower. And draw up our new lines. Because blue needs something a bit easier to manage now. Let's just say, like there. White, your new line will be this river to there. Green, your instructions are the next block of river. And red line. Uh, something like this. Go nuts. <clears throat> Had to Google it, looks like the Mars is neither metric nor imperial. Yeah, kilometers is way easier. We're slowly sinking the Russian fleet, because they have nowhere to go. <clears throat> They're running out of ports to escape to. Naval invasion in Southeast Asia, hey? Good luck with that. Okay, some of our new troops are ready. So let's start forming up a new army. And they are going to be down in Asia. Once they're all deployed. Oh, it's not too bad to convert between the two. You just have to, like... <laughs> I was just going to say add 60%, but you just got to add, like, a half and then a little bit more and you're set. Two miles to three Ks. 30 miles to like, I don't know, 16 k's or whatever. Oh yeah, it's annoying have to, having to guesstimate. Keep pushing everyone. <coughs> give these guys a job so we can assign the new armies to them. Uh, 
And let's scrap that line because I forgot to tell him I only wanted one of them. Alright, these planes need moving up. As do these. Wait for a moment, then I just wait for the moment a desperate AI moves to Richmond and forces you to capitulate with capturing the one. <laughs> they they would have no chance of getting there. And we've got lots of friendly people around to help deal with any nonsense like that. Not that I'm really that confident that the AI would do that for us, but... It'd be pretty pretty surprising if they managed to. <clears throat> okay, we're marching on Leningrad, we've taken Stalingrad, taken Moscow. The long walk is getting there. Soviets are already 85% of the way to capitulation. White will move up to there. Green will go like there somewhere. And red will cover the bottom. It's kind of nice just watching them all do their shit. Because then we get to just focus on moving these planes up. <clears throat> Hopefully 1.2 makes the AI more interesting. I've heard some mixed reviews of the beta so far. I'm also not so keen that they've incorporated the full... There's a mod that um changes the Peace Conference AI. And I'm not that fond of the way they do it. It sets up all these rules of like... Japan will never do this to China, and Soviets will never do this to them, and like all these overly complicated rules to try and have a historical result, but I'm really not that keen on it, and that the fact that they've taken it from the mod workshop and just chucked in the game almost in its entirety makes me nervous. That's why I liked my solution a fair bit more. Where it was just improved. Well, it was a very minor improvement. But. I think the, the enhanced AI would be great for if you're playing historical, but might limit how things can go playing a historical. But, time will tell, really. <coughs> Ooh, we actually got some divisions surrounded. How did you guys... Oh, fuck's sake. The game gets a little bit choppy when I'm running on speed 4, and then people just... I can't drag boxes. The point I click and drag 
doesn't start the bots properly. Cool, Leningrad has fallen. White group really does not need that line anymore. Red group needs to be focused down there. Green group can go there. That's another production efficiency thing for us. Let's start on atomic research. Because it would be nice just to nuke Russia right now and finish this war. Rather than having to find more of their victory points. Hey, our new line is all ready to go. So, we can move them into Asia, not factions, diplomacy. Oh, Germany. Balik Papan. Um, alright. Hmm. Just trying to decide where I want to deploy these guys. I think we'll put them against China, uh, Japan, sorry. And get them doing that. British Parliament debates intervention in Scandinavia. Yes, from from their what government in exile as the great uh, the Union of Britain down in Asia. Good luck with that. Let's finish off our last two options. Cool, even better industry. Let's get night vision, proving our attack at night. Yeah, the flag, flag flickering is very irritating. I disabled a bunch of mods and I can't work out what's doing it, so after this campaign I'll be updating to 1.2 and running without any mods for a little while. Have the good old vanilla experience. Um, fuck it, let's just get rid of these close by lines. They're a bit redundant now since we have a grand division. <clears throat> I'm hoping to um, update my graphics card soon as well. Not that that's really going to have any effect on... Oh, uh, it will actually. <sighs> Depending where the bottleneck is. But the laptop CPU is getting pretty hammered. Oh. Come on, hearts of iron. Don't go crashing on me, please. Ah, oh, there we go. That's why. Soviets capitulated. Fantastic. <clears throat> Let's grab what we claimed. The important parts. <coughs> Let's take all of Yugoslavia. And let's play Connect the Dots. Hmm, it's letting us actually take a fair bit of this.
heaps, actually. This is why it's very easy not to notice you've overclicked, because you have to look for this tiny little difference between green and grey. And it's very, very slight. I would like the oil from down here. Oh, there we go. That was the tipping point. Something here. There we go. End turn. What did everyone else do? Puppeted. Spain is puppeted. Good for you, Spain. actually take some of this end because I want to be able to jump across to Japan easily. Oh, and Japan actually... Oh no, that's... I always forget that what it's showing us is the original borders from when the game started. If I played this, keeping my borders neat, tiny, connected would drive me nuts. Yeah, it's one of the reasons why my mod is nice. <laughs> it's slightly easier to do. I was playing some Europe, um, Europa Universalis again recently, and I realised that when they added the state system to EU4, it was probably testing out the layout of states in preparation for states being used in Hearts of Iron. <sighs> Seriously? There we go, we'll take the rest. Job done. Alright, now, we just have to get across to Japan, and that is the War 1. But, let's make that... We could make that a little easier on ourselves. How many boats does Japan have? Japan has an alright navy. When ours gets out of combat, we'll move it up. Hungary has capitulated. <clears throat> oh, yes, they did. Okay, where are our divisions? He didn't even move. Ah, oh, useless. Does Japan not have their navy assigned? Apparently not. Okay, let's unassign Isles, put them on search and destroy for the coast of Japan. Let's manually move these guys. Let's get some naval bases built up. Along with radar, of course. And infrastructure.
And the naval base is on this coast. Um, alright. I think we need more research still for the largest, yeah, for largest naval invasions. Oh, now we have to move all these planes. Oh, cool. There are some air bases over here. Select all. Move to there. Select all. For now, we'll just stack them. Okay, that means that this garrison group doesn't need to be covering Yugoslavia or any of Russia. Which should also include Poland, I think. I'm glad they thought to leave these borders of where places used to be. <laughs> Makes life much easier for working out covering with garrisons. Alright, we've got medium tanks. We can swap over to those in a second and we'll get our advanced landing craft. Okay, production. Only tanks. Medium tanks. Medium tank threes. And I pretty much want them reliable and fast uh, with better guns sure <laughs> yeah Switzerland's doing great sitting around relaxing making cheese giving our army somewhere to go on holiday That's all our medium tanks swapped over. Well, production at least. Staying at 75% efficiency is fantastic. Oh, and then we have to get all of our divisions down here. I kind of want to fight China just because they're there. And it's still pretty early. Early in the night, I mean. So, let's... Justify a war goal. I want Shanghai, Beijing. Yeah, that'll work. 35 days. Okay, so white group can have this bit of front here. Blue group can have that section of ours and go to wherever green group can have this little tail end and also go wherever red group uh, construction 5, cool fuck it, red root can come in from India They're still on their boat ride over. All of them go to port. 
and then take a boat over here. Yeah, we've got tech slot. We've started on advanced landing craft. Sure, let's get some more naval doctrine while our fleet travels. <clears throat> we still have our cruiser. Two destroyers and a submarine from when we started the game. I'm pretty proud of that. It's not easy to have that much survive that long. Let's get anti-tank improved. All of these guys should be going everywhere. By train, good. Let's get the dockyards improved down here so we have better supply coming out. And improve the infrastructure. Alright. <clears throat> Let's bump it up on speed, let everyone get into position. Watch these flags flicker away vigorously. These planes have all arrived, so let's assign all. Why not? And of course we have to click through this a thousand times. I guess that's one reason not to use such diversified small air wings. Lots of clicking when you assign stuff. Iran would almost join our faction. <laughs> the, it almost looks like um, it almost looks like Stalin put on a disguise and went to Iran to, as his like place to escape. I can't think of the right word right now. Exiles. Stalin was exiled over to, um, what, Iran? Yeah. But it is time for me to put a break in here. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've been enjoying the series. Like, subscribe, leave me some comments, some feedback, and I'll see you in the next one.